cancer. But one cancer center here in Philadelphia is finding success with a rather low-tech principle, heat. Health reporter Ali Gorman this morning, who's also a registered nurse, explains exactly how it works. After two battles with breast cancer, life was just getting back to normal for Diane Pomone of Pottstown. Then came crushing news. There was a new tumor, despite promises from her doctors that surgery had eradicated her cancer. It is devastating because you're looking at it as this could be the end. This could be the beginning of the end. This mother of five and director of a crisis pregnancy center knew she needed radiation, but she wanted to add something new, hyperthermia or heat treatments. After looking for it overseas, Diane found it was being offered at the cancer treatment centers in Hunting Park. Hyperthermia uses microwaves to heat tumor cells. Twice a week they get about a one hour session where they lie down on the uh, treatment uh, bed. We actually locate where it is we want to treat and then a device is placed against that area. The microwave raises the temperature of the tissue underneath to 108 to 110 degrees. It makes malignant cancer cells more vulnerable to radiation. For a period of time, 48 to 72 hours, let's say, the blood supply in that area changes such that there's more oxygen and more ability for the radiation to affect those tumor cells. Hyperthermia has FDA approval for use in cancers on or just under the skin, such as melanoma, head and neck tumors, and some breast cancers like Diane's. On the downside, some patients get skin burns, pain, or ulcers. Diane, however, says it was the easiest treatment she's been through. Doctors say Diane is now cancer-free. Hyperthermia can be used for first-time or recurring cancers. Doctors are still exploring all the uses for this treatment. Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News.